Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you what's the best settings to stream with OBS Studio uh, because the OBS Classic kind of got discontinued and uh, especially I'm going to show you uh, what's the best settings to stream for uh, my CPU and my GPU which is the i5 4690K and a GTX 960, uh, only 2GB of uh, VRAM because there's different ways to stream of course and different settings uh, and different setups and uh, I'm gonna show you what's the best settings for performance and quality for this CPU and this GPU especially. So let's check it out. So here we are on the OBS Studio and I'm not gonna show you how to create scenes or sources because everyone is different and I mean it's very easy to create scenes. You just create a scene, give it a name and then here on the sources you add an image like a background, then game capture, the game you want to, to stream, uh, video capture which is uh, webcam and so on I mean I'm not gonna show you how to create uh, scenes but let's go on the settings because the settings are important in general you don't need to change almost anything go into stream and here also on the stream you just choose the platform you want to stream Twitch, YouTube, uh, Hitbox, I stream to restream you and here you choose the closest server, server to you of course and then on the output, output, output is very important choose here if you're gonna, if you're gonna have simple mode just go into the advanced mode and here encoder, th this encoder is from the GPU and X264 is from the CPU. Now I'm gonna speak about uh, the GPU because streaming with GPU uh, has a lower quality but better FPS. I stream in 720p so I downscale from 1080p to 720p. Rate control is CBR, this is like constant frame rate so your stream kinda has constant frame rate because if you don't have constant frame rates then the stream will be like laggy sometimes will have high fps then sometimes will have low fps but like this you have constant frame rates then bitrate is very important because for example in twitch the maximum bitrate is 3500 so you can't go higher on twitch than 3500 but on youtube you can go of course 6000 and so on maximum but you can have also to take in mind what's your upload speed. For example, my upload speed is 6 megabytes. So the maximum I could go is 5500 maybe, but I'm gonna be left with low bandwidth. So the maximum I could stream is for example 5000. So if you if I have if you have 6 megabytes, then then stream with 5000. If you have 4 megabytes, then stream with 3500 uh, bitrate kilobytes and so on. But take in mind that uh, if you're not partnered on Twitch, then the viewers, they will not be able to choose the quality of your stream. So for example, if someone has lower internet, uh, if you choose the maximum bitrate, then their stream will be laggy. So it will be, it will be loading like 5 seconds, then it will stop loading again, then again 5 seconds it will play, then it will stop and so on. So take in mind that if you're not partnered on Twitch, then you have kind of to play with the settings. I play with 3000 and still there is some people saying that the stream it's loading <laughs> but on YouTube there is not uh, that problem so on YouTube you can change the settings to low quality medium quality and so on so on YouTube you can go higher bitrate so it depends where you stream I stream to Restreamio which streams to YouTube and Twitch at the same time uh, and before I was streaming at 2800 bitrate but the quality it's a bit like worse so I stream kind of 3000 uh, this bitrate it's actually very important because if you choose like here the presets high default high quality high performance yeah this is also important but bitrate it's more important because the bitrate is what the quality will be on Twitch or YouTube then going to presets and here presets for the settings that I use I choose high quality because the performance and the quality of course if I choose high performance if you choose high performance then come here into the video and choose 32 samples because if you let 16 samples and high performance then the quality will be very bad so I choose high quality high quality and on video 16 samples so by this way I have good FPS and good quality but if I want to choose 32 samples then come here and choose high performance but I tested it and high performance with uh, 32 samples has lower quality than 16 samples and high quality <laughs> and a bit uh, 
worst FPS on 32 samples. With this CPU and GPU, I recommend to use 16 samples and high quality. Then here on the video, then you choose how you want to stream 30 FPS or 60 FPS. I choose 60 FPS because 60 FPS is more natural, is more smooth. And on 30 FPS, you have better FPS, but the stream is a bit like not so so smooth. And here on the output, like I mentioned here, I stream at 720p, so I don't scale from 1080p to 720p, which is recommendable because if you stream at 1080p, then you will need a very good upload, and also your your GPU and CPU will be bottlenecking because I mean this CPU and this GPU is not that 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 great for streaming. But yeah, anyway, and here I'm gonna show you now how to stream with the CPU, which I don't really recommend to stream with this CPU. I mean, with this setup, with the CPU, because the FPS on the games are very bad. Let's put here as well 3,000 constant frame rates as well. And here on the CPU usage, here is different. You have ultra fast, super fast, very fast. The lower you go, the better the quality will be. But as well, the lower the FPS will be because the CPU will be encoding very like fast or slower and so on. So very fast, it's uh, like the medium quality the, or the best quality that, that people use. Because if you choose faster, even if you have a very good CPU, the FPS will be so bad. So very fast is the best to use. But for this CPU, uh, I would suggest to use super fast because the the performance is okay and the quality as well okay on ultra fast the quality is just shit so don't go with ultra fast go with the cpu go with super fast and here on the video again i will choose 16 samples because on 32 samples the fps will be just bad uh, but again you just play with them and see how it fits for you uh, but i don't really re recommend with this setup With this i5 4690K and the GTX 960, I don't really recommend to stream with the CPU. It's better to stream with the GPU because the GPU kind of has an onboard graphic and kind of it encodes with that onboard graphic, so it doesn't perform so much on the games. Of course, you kind of lose some FPS, but not as much as streaming with the CPU, of course. Uh, you have lower quality on the streaming with the GPU than CPU, but it's not like so much noticeable. Uh, but I'm gonna show you here on, on the end a difference on performance on FPS between streaming with the GPU and with the CPU.